Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another video. My name is Justin, and in this video, we're going to talk about three things specifically. We're going to talk about Tesla and the SEC 1.0. We're going to talk about Tesla and the SEC 2.0. And then we're going to talk about how the chart seems very resilient and how it is holding the 50 weekly moving average. And today being Friday, um, if it's able to close above it, and that level is at roughly 804, it means Tesla's strong and it can shake off any bad news. And the reason why this is particularly important is because only three stocks that we reviewed on the weekend deep dive were closed, were currently above their 50 weekly moving average. That was Tesla, Apple, and Nvidia. Three of the stocks you guys love. So what that tells me is that if the market's gonna truly recover after an incredible snapback yesterday on the NASDAQ, um, these three stocks, if they do well, they're probably gonna keep going higher and be the leaders. So if this dead cat bounce is gonna turn into more, I wanna see Tesla lead, it's already leading today. I wanna see Apple and Nvidia, Nvidia go with that. And um, the reason why I find this particularly interesting is because um, there's all this looming bad news. And again, this blue line right here, which is going to be the 50 weekly, um, it's telling me that we're currently above it. We're sitting here at about 816 in pre-market. We can see that level here at about 804. So it's got a pretty nice cushion. Um, the only other stocks that are currently above that are Apple. Again, nice, uh, nice hammer here to get back above it. And NVIDIA. Every other ones are currently below. And uh, like I said, um, what's very interesting to me is that, um, again, the first time Elon Musk went after the SEC, he called them the Short Enrichments uh, Committee. So, um, again, the second time here, now he wants to take the SEC to court. However, what he does not understand is that uh, the SEC doesn't play by his rules. So what they're doing is, again, uh, this is from the 24th. Um, uh, CEO, uh, again, Judge rejects Tesla CEO Elon Musk attempted to bring the SEC to court. Um, he said that, uh, again, they're the Short Enrichment Commission, and um, he expressed disdain for them. What happened uh, literally, and this is the reason why, Tesla CEO accuses the SEC of leaking information from a federal probe. It's like he thinks that uh, they care about him so much. They're watching every move. And the reason why that's important to me is because he kicked the beehive. So he kicked the beehive, and then he wonders why he's getting stung. So investigation focuses partly on Kimball Musk's sale of Tesla stock, in November 2021, before Brothers uh, stock sale. Um, and again, uh, Pro began last year after Elon pulled Twitter about selling 10% of his stock. So the day before Elon did his poll, his brother Kimball um, pretty much uh, sold like $100 million worth of stock. So um, Elon is playing with fire. Um, he's picking the bee's nest. And I don't quite understand why he's expecting a different result. This seems like insanity, doing the same thing and expecting a different result. So... At a high level, I think that um, if Tesla can shake this off, and um, again, it's had a couple of other issues, um, I think the stock is super strong, and I could easily see it snapping back towards the $1,000 area. So if we're able to hold this channel and finally break it, again, I think that we can probably start advancing closer to the all-time high if, uh, if that's the goal. So um, with that said, I'm going to bring Mason on briefly, and we're just going to talk about Tesla for a, minutes, for a few minutes here. Um, What's good your morning, thoughts on Tesla's closest here? Um, good morning. Um, my, good morning. The, my thoughts on it? Um, actually, it's funny you ask that because whenever I look at Tesla, I always think about what you say about when Tesla's down about 30%. What does it usually mean? Um, oh, it's a buy. It's, it's, it's buy. literally <laughs> always what I think about when I look at Tesla because it, it's honestly true what Justin says. Um, a lot of the times, big declines like this on this name are going to get bought up because um, it's a growing company and it's one of the best electric vehicle producers arguably the best in the market right now. So yeah, mm -hmm. um, great name. And I do think it's going higher if it can manage to close above that 50. Um, I think this um, SEC stuff is kind of noisy. Um, usually the <laughs> stuff involving the SEC is. Um, a lot of the times to get criminal charges against people, the the SEC needs the Department of Justice involved. They're not, a, they're not as powerful as people think they are. Um, so yeah, it's interesting, but I think it's a lot of noise for sure. Mm -hmm. So it's funny you say that because uh, off the relative high, we're now down by 29%. So off the relative <laughs> high, uh, we're down by roughly 29. And what I generally say is, again, 20% is where you want to start considering buying. Yeah. And the closer we get to that 30 is where if you love Tesla, um, you can get that nice little dip. And um, again, uh, Mason said piercing below the 50, but closing above is usually, usually buy. Um, he said that yesterday. And um, that's true again now. Test the blue line, you buy. So with that said, we wish you guys all the best of luck. If you enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and drop us a comment. And um, we will see you guys tomorrow for the weekend deep dive, uh, 1.0 yeah. for the news, and 2.0 oh. 
on Sunday for the charts. Wish you guys all the best of luck, and we will see you on the next video. Thank, Thank you, Mason. Everybody. Thanks, Dan.